We begin Tuesday's press review in Nigeria with Delhi Sun. Fear of second answers protest. Heavy security deployment in Lagos, Ibadan, Abuja, others. And reps reject call for Buhari's impeachment. This day right, with threat from Buhari, police ends as protesters beat retreat. Soldiers, police take over strategic position in Lagos, Ogun, others. The punch says, fresh ends as protests, campaigners adamant, Buhari talks tough, deploy soldiers, call. Prepare for more protests, our demands have not been met, say protesters and Buhari to address joint National Assembly sitting on Thursday. Nigerian Tribune writes, As Buhari addresses National Assembly Thursday, reps PDP Bika over calls for his impeachment. Ghanaian Times says, Who occupies Jubilee House? Zimbabwe's Daily News write, Sanopi F tracks chaos mongers as party orders DCC pools reruns in some districts. In Kenya, Daily Nation says, Uhuru, Ruto allies hold secret talks. The push for consensus has now boiled down to three issues following weekend meetings with Deputy President Camp. The standard right, Senators 21 hour death that ended in ICU. Attempted murder probe last Thursday afternoon, Senator Boniface Kavaka drove to an upmarket Nairobi apartment where he was joined by a woman. 21 hours later, he was rushed to hospital unconscious. Police are now investigating an attempted murder as what transpired on 3rd December remains a mystery. And finally, we end in Uganda with new vision is this story. Government stops new petrol stations. And former Prime Minister Babasi condemns police brutality. Former Prime Minister and once presidential aspirant Amama Babasi has condemned what he called the police brutality amidst the ongoing election campaigns and has called for the humane treatment of Ugandans by law enforcers. That's it for today. Stay safe. See you tomorrow.